Hello, everybody. I'm Larry Ridley, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. Two running backs will take the field today in hopes of leading their team to victory out on that field. It's Gore's 49ers going up against Bell Steelers. Now let's get you out to Levi's Stadium where Jim Nance and Phil Sims have the call. Steelers and 49ers on EA Sports. We welcome you to Santa Clara, California for today's game. Hello, friends. Jim Nance alongside Phil Sims. And I guess the big question, Phil, before a kickoff is what do you expect here today? Jim, I expect an emotional football game here today. We have two teams that are very disciplined, but can they stay that way? When you let emotion get involved, usually sometimes you miss an assignment. And what is that? What happens when you miss an assignment? It usually leads to a big play. So control your emotions is a big deal in this game here today. 49ers are back deep, waiting to return the kick. And Sean Sweezum looks set now to kick it away. Just past the 20, we'll mark it at the 22-yard line. And here is quarterback Colin Kaepernick, just now his second full season as the starter for the 49ers. Well, the San Francisco 49ers, they had to be really happy with Colin Kaepernick at the end of the year. I thought he really learned how to play the quarterback position, was making great strides. I think he's going to be terrific in 2014. Good piece of tackling. When you're a quarterback throwing against zone defenses, look for the open space. That's what he did that time. He found it, and the receiver ran in there and made the catch. The 49ers take it on the 28. For the offense, the lineups, Vernon Davis is a great blocker and receiver at tight end. Well, when he came out of the University of Maryland, everybody said, well, he's just one of those fast tight ends. Well, he's proven he's a lot more than just that. He's a good blocker, and he's an excellent catcher of the football. Well, it's a game of chances in the NFL. It's third down. The defensive coordinator said, let's get after this quarterback. He sends the extra guys. He blitzes him, and they get there before the quarterback can react. Antonio Brown from the 27. Going to be a penalty here. And that's a gain of 13. This is five. Kicker. Receiving team. Always one of the more dangerous moments out on the field when you see a flag thrown for clipping. Yeah, it is, Jim. The player you are blocking or clipping can't protect himself. And when you go down low on those legs and do that, it's a dangerous play. It's definitely worthy of a call. The defense gets the set. Well, the right side, Jim, the right tackle and the right guard. They look confused. They don't know what to do, so they just get run over, and the quarterback falls down. Bell's hand at the football. In on the stop. It'll be third down. Corners formation here for the defense. Roethlisberger from the gun. He'll throw it over the middle. And he's going to be tackled, and that's going to bring us to fourth down. Defensive coordinators love this situation, don't they? Third and long, they can do just about anything, and it's going to work, and they stop the offense that time. The Steelers are ready to punt this one away. Cox has got a chance this time. He's brought to a halt.
It's first down as they head to the line. Play fake. Sticks to his hands. Miller's marked down after a gain of nine. Well, that was a nice job by the offense. It just puts him in a better position. Nice little throw and catch. So they complete that one, yet it's still second down. The 49ers approach the line, and they're going with their jumbo package. Tackle's made, and the first down is picked up. Moore is a very smart runner. He knows situations in the game. He saw the first down yard markers, and what does he do? He gets past them and picks up the first down. First down at the 42. Gore is going to take the handoff now. Unstoppable. The 30. Ball is out. I never did it myself, but it must be a great feeling to hit an offensive player that hard and make the football come flying out. That long gain sets them up here on this play. Gets it again. Rock for a loss on that play. When you talk about this defense, you know they've been game planning all week long to face Lawrence Timmons. Yeah, Lawrence Timmons can play inside linebacker. He can play outside linebacker. He's tall, rangy, and he is an excellent blitzer. Offense lines up here. The 49ers from the 22. He'll pick up seven this time. Nice job by the quarterback finding the open guy short. They get the completion. They still do not get the first down, though. Now looking at third down. The Steelers defense brings in an extra member of the secondary. They'll go nickel to Davis. Football down the field once you get in the red zone. That time the quarterback, well, he knows that. And he looks down there, nobody open deep, throws it short, and they get a nice solid pickup on that play call. First and goal, Gore. And Gore is brought down. The Steelers defense, they got backed up in their own red zone, but you know what? They came through that time. There's a run play, they were waiting for it, and they stopped the offense for a very short game. Second and goal from the eight. And the give to Frank Gore. Not able to get away from Taylor that time. When you get third and goal, a lot of times it just comes down to who's willing to fight the hardest. We'll find out here in a second. The first quarter comes to an end, and you're watching the NFL on EA Sports. The NFL on EA Sports is brought to you by Head & Shoulders, the official shampoo of the NFL. The 49ers on offense here to start the second quarter. Coming to the line at the eight. The Steelers come out in the nickel. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. And it's out of bounds incomplete. Good job that time by the defense. They stop them short on third and goal. What will the offense do? I'm sure the defense is hoping they go for it. And the kick is good for three. Well, Jim, that field goal puts him in the lead. It's a nice drive by the offense. And what it does is just gives you confidence. You did some positive things on the field, and it should carry over for you for the rest of the game. He's got a chance to return this one. As the tackle's made right around the 25-yard line. First down coming up. Offense lines up here. Bell's got it on the handoff. And they are in on Bell. If you want to run the football with success, you're going to have plays like this where they pick up very little yardage. Don't listen to the fans. Keep running it, and it'll work. Second down now.
Bells taking the handoff. That will stop the play right there. Third down here. Offense trying to pick up the first. Bell takes his spot in the backfield. Roethlisberger takes the snap from the gun. Brown's got it. First down. He's got the touchdown. Terrible job by the defense. Lack of hustle, bad tackling, you name it. They allowed the short throw and catch to go all the way down the field for a score. Inside of the uprights. The 49ers looking for a big return and hoping to find a way to regain the lead. Scores 7-3. to three. The 49ers in kickoff return formation. made right around the 26-yard line. First down here. Colin Kaepernick under center. Vernon Davis hauls it in. Mitchell's there to take him down. Well, I think we've heard this expression about 7,000 times. It's a passing league, so we all know that. So you got to be able to throw the football and pick up some first down. First down at the 41. The give. Mitchell's in on the tackle. The 49ers trail right now, but you can't blame the running game. Gore has done more than his fair share here in the first half. He has done more than his fair share in the mentality of this offense. They think they are tougher than any defense they play. And so far here today, they have been tough. And Crabtree's got the catch and the first. In this league now, you got to keep these wide receivers and quarterbacks guessing. You just can't come out there and play man-to-man -man every play and think that's going to work. you got to mix in some zones, some blitzes, and then occasionally go man-to-man -man cover. And Gore is brought down. Nice run that time. When you run the football like this, over a period of time, it's going to wear that defense out. There's no doubt about it. Nice job by the offensive line. Second down and five. Takes it again. Good work by the defense. This will be a loss of three. Well, that time the offensive line just got overpowered. The allowed penetration. When you do that, nowhere for the running back to go. What a good job by the defensive line. The 49ers take it from the 33. And Crabtree's got the catch and the first. Got us a nice drive going here, Jim. Another first down. They are just making one solid play after another and just marching down the field. Johnson's in the slot. First down at the 22. Gore. Fights through contact. Touchdown, San Francisco. job on that touchdown that puts them ahead and it's always of course better to be ahead than behind and the extra point is good the Steelers return team is in position perhaps they can run one out pretty deep and shift the momentum the scores 10 to 7 runs up to grab it at the four Able to move past the 20 and brought down at the 23. The Steelers now will start their drive at the 23. Plenty of defensive backs out on the field for this one. First down at the 23. Brings it in. Tackles made. The 
second down coming up. We've hit the two-minute warning here in the first half. And now they'll try over again on second down. Nickel formation for the defense here. Let's go. Ben Roethlisberger dropping back in shotgun formation. Roethlisberger sends it to Bell. A reception on second down, but not enough for the first. Third down. Roethlisberger from the gun. And he's going to be dropped. That's a three and out for the offense. And timeout is called, so we're going to take a quick break and return in just a moment. Cox's got it at the 21. Johnson's there that time for the tackle. Cox is the injured player, and we'll take a break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Kaepernick's lining up in the pistol. First down at the 33. And the give to Frank Gore. And he's going to be tackled right around the 37. Second down following the run. Nickel formation here for the defense. Kaepernick standing back in the shotgun ready for the snap. Looking long. And that's Taylor who almost had a pick. I know we've all heard this phrase before. That's why they're playing defense because they can't catch. Hey, the coaches don't care about that. When you get an opportunity, they want you to make the catch. Colin Kaepernick will be taking this one from the gun, from the shotgun. Kaepernick connects with Crabtree. That's a good tackle, and that's a quick three and out. The 49ers have clearly been focusing on getting some of their big weapons involved here in the first half. And Crabtree's been a menace out there in the secondary with huge first half totals. He does have a lot of talent. That's why they try to get the football to him. But the play design by the offensive coordinator, outstanding. That's why we're seeing such a big game from the wide receiver. Nothing like throwing a short pass and watching it turn into a long game. Good job that time by the quarterback finding the open guy. That was a big gainer. Now it's time to back it up. What a catch. Touchdown. That was a nice job that time by the offense driving down for the touchdown to increase their lead. That really takes a lot of pressure off the defense. The 49ers for the extra point. The point after try is in the books. Kaepernick certainly given his team some momentum with that scoring drive. He just put together a possession where he threw for more than 60 yards. He'll take it from the four. Able to move past the 20 and brought down at the 23. They come to the line, and it's first down. Coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. Reed makes the tackle. The Steelers signal for the timeout, and that's the first one they've used. That'll be second and four after the running play. Ben Roethlisberger takes a look down from under center. Bell's going to secure the handoff. He'll go to the left. Bell's a great running back to have on your football team, isn't he? He goes up in there and gets the first down. Now your offense has three more chances. It's a dime look for the defense on this play. First down at the 37. Makes the reception. Gall's going to make the tackle. The Steelers will take a second here to talk things over as they call a timeout on second down. 
Moore is going to get set in the slot for this snap. Roethlisberger is going to take the snap from the shotgun. He's got the catch. Moore since tackle right at the 48. The Steelers have to call one right here, and they do. And they are out of timeouts. Moore's lined up in the slot. Roethlisberger's back in shotgun formation. Here's Miller. And now they'll be on the other side of the 50 after this play. First down here after the completion. Hayward Bays, a receiver in the slot. The first half is complete. Larry Ridley is ready to take things over back in our studios. And you're watching the NFL on EA Sports. All right, welcome to the Verizon Halftime Report. I'm Larry Ridley. Let's take a look back now at the first half. The 49ers are happy to be sitting in the locker room with a lead. The Steelers just want to come out after the half and claw their way back into the game. All right, let's take a look at some of the highlights from the first half. Steelers have it early in the second. Browns found on the quick pass and catched it, and it leads to a touchdown. The Steelers go up by four. Now midway through the second. The blocking here will free up the run, and he capped off the seven-play drive with a score. 49ers go up by three. 49ers have it at the 44. Kaepernick's got the completion out of the gun, and he won't be brought down until he makes it to the 13-yard line. Same drive. Crabtree's able to get open here, and this will go all the way for a touchdown, pushing the lead to 10. And with that, we'll wrap up our halftime report and head back out now to Levi Stadium for the start of the second half. The Steelers set to return the kick. And he's out across the 20 and tackled at the 21. The Steelers now bring their offense back onto the field for the next drive. Bells lined up in a single back formation to the ground. Games 19. Jim, when you're down multiple scores in the second half, you're looking for the little things to get momentum on your side. So just get a first down. Don't look for the big plays. That was a good job by the offense that time. Keeps it on the play fake. A catch and the first. Roethlisberger selling this play big time. The defense, they go for the run fake, and that's why he has time to throw the football and makes the completion. Good job. First and ten. Roethlisberger is able to fake into the line and still has it. Gains 18. That's a nice job by the offense there. Get the first down, keep those chains moving, give yourself three more opportunities. On this passing down, the defense comes out in the nickel. First down and ten. That ball is rifles and Darius Hayward Pay, who makes the catch. Well, anytime you're in the red zone, you want to punch it in and get that touchdown. If they do that, look, they still, they're still going to be behind, but it gives them confidence moving forward. First down, following the long play. Bell's handed the football, and Brooks is the one who brings him to the ground. Well, that last play almost got him in here, and when you look at this, what do they do? Well, you just want to punch it in. There's a lot of, a lot of different scenarios. You could do a play-action fake, probably get somebody wide open, or have a running back just jump over the top for the touchdown. Play-action fake. Touchdown. This game is tight. Touchdown, touchdown Steelers. Steelers. Tight ends are so valuable down on the goal line. They're able to maneuver inside. Easy to get defenders to run into each other uh, to get open to score. It's good. The Steelers were very effective on that scoring drive, especially via the pass. Over 50 passing yards on that scoring drive. Steelers setting up here for the kickoff. And it's the same as a touchback as he's tackled right at the 20. First down on the way. Bolden's lined up now as a slot receiver. 
Mitchell's there to make the tackle. Phil, today we've seen a running back who was putting up some big rushing totals. Jim, sometimes I get tired of talking about the quarterbacks and wide receivers, how well they're doing. What a good change of pace to watch the game evolve around a running back. And, man, this guy is taking advantage of those opportunities. The 49ers, that time, they can't get big yards, but the throw and catch picks up a few, and his third down's much easier with this situation. Third down and one. Gore is going to take the handoff now. He's going to be brought down, and that's going to be a three and out for this offense. Keep the momentum on your side. you got a lead here in the second half. Nice play that time. You pick up the first down. Let's see if you can take advantage of it. Offense lines up here. First down at the 33. Shazier's there to make the tackle. Nice job that time by the defense. They were ready for the run. Nowhere for the running back to go. And they stopped him for a short game. It's now second down and seven after the three-yard rush. Finds his mark. That's a gain of eight. Well, here we are in the second half of a tight game, and you, you always hear this, control the tempo of the game, just move the chains, and that's what the offense did that time. Picked up the first down and just keep marching from here. And a little crease. No one's going to get him now. The 20, the 10, going to take it home for the touchdown. To me, still one of the most exciting plays in NFL football, a long-running touchdown and how about that when it had it all in its speed good moves good blocks exciting touchdown the 49ers setting up for the kickoff no return the ball's coming out to the 20. The Steelers are ready to take over now as their offense heads onto the field. Browns in the slot. Here comes the wide receiver in motion. Now first and ten. They'll go Brown. Taking it right up the middle. He's going to be tackled right around the 24-yard line. What that run does, it just puts the offense in a good situation. So a good, positive run. It's now second down. Coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. Roethlisberger takes the snap from the gun, and he's tackled, but not until he picked up the first down. Nice catch that time by the wide receiver on the slant route. Quarterback puts it right on target. The defense comes out in the dime. First and ten. Bell's got it on the handoff. Made by Smith that time. Coming up, second down. So three quarters in the books, and you're watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Steelers have the football as the fourth quarter gets started. And here we have second down. Coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. He'll get it again. The tackle's made, and the first down is picked up. Number 26. Bell is able to show everybody why he should get the football more. Good job that time finding his way and picking up a first down. Miller's moved away from the tight end position to now a receiver in the slot. Ben Roethlisberger dropping back in shotgun formation. Ahmad Brooks brings the quarterback down. Well, you see it all the time. When the offensive line can't stop the defensive pass rush, 
then you have your running backs hit a defensive lineman before they go out for the pass. Tight ends in motion here. The Steelers snap it at the 41. Here's Miller. Miller's marked down at the 41. Anytime you have man-to-man -man coverage like you see this time, it's all about the receiver getting away from the defender. He does it, and the quarterback puts it right on him. Let's see what they do on this third down situation. Wide receivers stacked up on this play. Roethlisberger from the gun throws to the right. Incomplete as he was looking short. Jim, when you get in these situations, there's not much you can do. Third long, not easy to pick up first downs in these type of situations. Set up return. Here he goes. Nice tackle. First down, offense readying for the snap. Kaepernick will be taking the snap out of the pistol. Scrambling out of the pocket. Incomplete as that ball sails out of bounds. Failing to complete that one. So second down here. Empty backfield look for Kaepernick here. They'll hike it to him out of the shotgun. And that's Taylor, who almost had a pick. Well, Jim, I threw a lot of passes like that in my career where it should have been intercepted, and the guy dropped it, and you just go, yes, I got a break. Now can you capitalize on that break? Gore's lined up now as the running back behind the quarterback. And now he'll take off. Almost intercepted. Well, the defense has to be depressed after that play because when you get a chance to get off the field, get a turnover, and get the offense off the field, man, you got to take advantage of situations like that. Antonio Brown will return this punt. The Steelers getting set now for their next series. They've come out in the dime package. Roethlisberger's going to take it from the gun. Secures it with two hands. Reads in on the tackle. What a nice catch by the receiver. Getting past the yard markers, makes the catch, and gets the first down. Brown's going to get set in the slot for this snap. Back to the air here on first down. Looking to the right side and throwing. And Brock can't quite pick it off. The defense did everything right that situation. They were in the right spot. They were smart. They read the quarterback's eyes. But they dropped the pass. Loading up with extra defensive backs in the dime. Roethlisberger's got it in the gun. Roethlisberger sends it to Bell. You can't play zone coverage against this quarterback. He knows it's zone, and he's going to find the open throwing lane, and he gets it done. Wide receivers are bunched up. The Steelers take it from the 28. Roethlisberger with the give. Nothing there as this goes for a loss of two. The 49ers guessed right on the defensive side that time. They thought it was going to be a run play. They were all over it. And they got it in the backfield and made the tackle. The field goal attempt is good. It's good. Never take it for granted. When you're trying a field goal, a lot of things could go wrong. But good execution that time by the offense and a good kick. Three points. Sean Sweezum readying his team for the kickoff.
things happen on both sides of the football this time. How about that return by the return team? Good job, good blocking. Look at the speed of that guy running. They get the tackle from behind. They stop the touchdown. This run goes nowhere. Stuff for a loss of four. Got to give the defense some credit on first down. There's so many things the offense can do. They were ready for that play, and they stopped it. Gore is in the backfield. Second down and a long way to go. And Gore is brought down. Interesting situation here for the offense. They got a lead here in the second half, but it's third and long. And, and you always like to say, the football is in the hands of the quarterback, so he has to be smart. If he tries to force it down the field, I do not like his chances. Clay Cox running down. Throw to the left. The reception, easy, wide open. This is called managing the football, football game as a head coach. What are you doing here? you got to lean. It's close. It's fourth down. It's short yardage. You're near midfield. Don't do it. Punt the football away. And if the other team's going to go ahead, make them drive the length of the field. Catch is made by Brown. They come to the line of scrimmage. First down. Time to this one's running out, and the defense knows it needs another stop. the one who is down and will step aside for just a moment. These guys need to make something happen on offense with time beginning to run out. Dropping back now into the shotgun. He's got a wide open alley. He's taken down at the 23. It's third down coming up. Two minutes remaining, and you're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Coming up, third down, a huge moment. This game is closing in on a finish, and the defense can make one play and basically end the game. Make popped up the football. The defense has the football. They bring him to the turf. That's what you call a takeaway. That time, the defense just hit the ball carrier so hard that he had to give the football up, and they lose it. The jumbo set on the field. First and ten. Goal. And gains about one. And they're going to call a timeout here to stop the clock. Second down. The 49ers will go with the pistol on this play. And the give to Frank Gore. Shazier's there to make the stop. That's a timeout call. Third down now. Two tight ends on the field here. Well, Michael James. There's the offense picking up another first down on third down. That'll stop the clock with that timeout. First down here after the run. It's a dime look for the defense on this play. Back to the ground. Gets about four yards that time. The 49ers have really been able to run the ball today. There's been a huge reason why they lead. Gore has been brilliant, and he's shown no reason to stop giving him the football. Well, but it's working well. Don't stop. The running game is hot. The offensive linemen feel the power. They love it. Just keep running right at it. This will be second down. Ready to make the stop on the goal line. Loading up that defensive front. Breaking huddle at the six. Third 
Third and goal at the six. Crucial play here. Fourth down on the way. What's this one mean to the players and coaches to pull this one out in the end? Anytime you win a close game in the NFL, Jim, you need to do that about three or four times a year to make a difference in what you're trying to accomplish. And that is going to the playoffs. This is a big step uh, going in that direction. What a memorable game this truly was. For Phil Simms, Danielle Bellini, and Larry Ridley, Jim Nance saying so long for now, and we leave you with the GMC Never Say Never moment of the game.
Hello, everyone. I'm Larry Ridley, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. Anticipation is mounting for today's game, and we've got two quarterbacks looking to make an impact. It's Dalton's Bengals going up against McCown's Buccaneers. So let's go now to Cincinnati, Ohio, where Jim and Phil are on the call. Buccaneers, Bengals, coming up here on EA Sports as we come to you from Cincinnati, Ohio, for today's game. Hello, friends. Jim Nance along with Bill Sims. And, Bill, it's an absolutely gorgeous day here for football. And how will that factor into this game? It's always a factor, Jim, when you have good weather. Now you can call anything you want and not worry about the elements disturbing your game plan. It's a complicated game. There's no doubt about it. But it's less complicated when you have good weather. So that means Brandon Tate will be back for the opening kick. Michael Kanan ready to kick it away to start today's game. start their drive from about the 31. The Bengals quarterback is Andy Dalton coming off a season in which he completed 62% of his throws for over 4,200 yards and took Cincinnati back to the playoffs with a division title. Well, we look at Andy Dalton. He's had a terrific first three years in the NFL playing for the Bengals, Jim, and all he has done his rookie year in the last two, he has led Cincinnati to the playoffs. Of course, everybody's complaining because they haven't gotten that first playoff win. Andy Dalton backing off the line, dropping back into the shotgun formation. On the money, and Foster in on the tackle. Early in this game, Phil, and already on the other side of the midfield strike. Nice job by the offense here. Good play calling too, Jim. Mixing up the plays. The defense is off guard right now, and the offense is taking advantage of it. First down and 10. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Green's brought down, but has the first. All the quarterbacks in the NFL, they'd all be great if they had all day to throw like this. When you give an average quarterback this kind of time, he turns into a great quarterback. Now first and 10. Taken down, getting away from the pressure. Off the mark here as this throw heads out of bounds. Let's talk about the starters on offense. He was the first running back taken in the 2013 draft out of the University of North Carolina, Giovanni Bernard. Everybody's looking for a running back like Bernard, a guy that can come in and run the draws, catch the screens, and do the little things to make big plays. And what a great year he had as a rookie in the NFL. Third down. Andy Dalton in the shotgun formation. Andy Dalton gets it out to A.J. Green. What's the old expression? Just move the chains. That's what they did with that throw and catch that time, Tim. It also gives them a chance for three more downs. The Bengals come out. Jumbo package on the field. First and ten. Out of the eye. It's Bernard. Still tucked. He gets into the end zone. Tapping off the long run. Good job that time by the offense. Scoring that touchdown and putting him ahead. And when you get ahead in a football game in the National Football League, it makes you relax and you play better. Extra point is good. Ready to swing his leg as aggressively as possible and send the football down to the end zone.
that'll be a touchback. And the ball will be placed at the 20. Starting at quarterback, the journeyman at first with eight different NFL teams, plus a season in the UFL, and now seems comfortable in his role. He's quarterback Josh McCown. How about the job Josh McCown did last year when he came in for an injured Jay Cullen with the Chicago Bears? He was absolutely outstanding. Now he's got a chance to be a starter and a star for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. First and ten. Has his man. They tackle him at the 26-yard line. Well, when you keep chipping away with these short throws, sooner or later, that defense is going to come up, and when they come up, that's when you throw it over the top. The Bengals go with the dime formation here on defense. Tackle's made, and that'll move the chains. When you have one of the biggest offensive lines in the NFL in front of you, don't dance around. Doug Martin doesn't do any dancing that time. He plunges straight ahead for a first down. The Bengals lined up in the nickel. The Buccaneers have it at the 34. Reaches out and grabs it. The tackle is made. Vincent Jackson found a way to go deep with success last year in Tampa, and he's a big-time part of this offense. Yeah, you know, I think we really found out finally Vincent Jackson, it doesn't matter where he plays, he's just good, and he got it done for the Bucks last year. That was a nice reception, but not enough for the first down. Second down coming up. <laughs> Throwing now to his left. Setting now the defensive lineups. You've got to begin with Geno Adkins. Such a huge wrecking ball presence on that defensive front. Unfortunately for Geno Adkins, his 2013 season was cut short with an injury, but he's one of the best inside defensive linemen in the NFL, and man, can he rush the pass. Well, the defense has got to be excited. Anytime on third down they make the play, uh, they get pretty fired up. But when you sack a quarterback on third down, that is one happy and emotional defense right now. Takes taken down at the 46. Of course, Jim, you and I would have called a fair catch there because you know why? We're cowards. Who'd want to take this kind of punishment when the defender's all around you? Andy Dalton will be under center. First down at the 46. Looks to his left. Dalton sends it to Green. He's brought down. Bengals have gone to the air here in the first half, and one wide out has stood out. Green's been getting open, and he's not missing out on these opportunities to make big plays. He is making it so tough on these defensive backs. They, they don't know whether he's going to go deep. Touchdown, Bengals! is ever safe so when you got the lead you push it on in there score another touchdown and keep putting the pressure on your opponent going to watch now as his defense gets ready to come into the game he just put up over 50 yards receiving helping his team go down the field for the score right going to start his return and he's taken down right at about the 29 not quite to the 30 They face first down. Martin. And he'll go to the left. And they bring it down at the 38-yard line. Second down and two to go after the running play. The 
Buccaneers come out at a two tight end set. They've got him behind the line of scrimmage. The defense looking for one more stop here on third down after that run. Martin is in the backfield. Let's go. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. Throws out the arm. He's tackled beyond the markers. It's a first down. That's a nice route on the outside. Nice throw by the quarterback. Puts him in good position to keep moving and get a first down. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. Offense lines up here. Dog Martin carries the football. Tackled down right around the 48. Good job that time by the offense. Power run gets him a few yards. Second and three after that last carry. Double tight end formation. They hand it off to him again. Off the right side, Mark. That'll put them in what we call plus territory. Martins is a very smart runner. He knows situations in the game. He saw the first down yard markers, and what does he do? He gets past them and picks up the first down. They're able to move the chains after that last run. Martin lines up in the backfield. He'll keep it on the play fake. Paul's able to swat the pass away. Oh, nice job. That quarterback, he was watching the quarterback. He's all over the receiver, so it was easy for him to knock the throw down. Second down following that incompletion. Here's the handoff to Doug Martin. Martin takes the hit and is brought down. When you run the football like this and you show toughness, there is no doubt when you fake it and try to throw the football down the field, the quarterback's going to have all day to get it done. On the way, third down. Out of the gun. Pulls it in. Atkins is still down, so we'll take a quick break and be back in just a moment. This will take all the leg strength he can muster. Comes up short. I think it was a risky decision to send him out there and kick this long field goal. They miss it, and look what they've done. They've given the other team's offense very good field position. Danielle's got an injury update for us. Let's go to her now. Guys, I had a chance to speak with a Bengals team official. Geno Atkins' injury appears to be related to the upper body. Trainers are saying it is a severe injury, but would not confirm what the injury is at this time. Dalton looking wrong, but it's incomplete. Just not a good decision by the quarterback. I mean, maybe on the sidelines, they keep calling the wrong plays, but he's attacking the strength of this cover two defense. Don't do that. Throw where they're not. That's deep down the middle. Second and ten. Go run it. Here's the handoff. Good for only a yard. Bernard's never able to build up that power that he has as a running back when there's nowhere to go. Hey, there's nowhere to go. That's a short game. After that run, third and eight for the offense. Dalton standing back in the shotgun, ready for the snap. Oh, and almost picked off that time. Every quarterback in the NFL is going to have one or two passes a game. They can't be picked off. Most of the time, they're dropped. And this time, that was a bad drop by the defense.
the Bengals get to it first, and this will be downed as their defense trots onto the field. The Buccaneers will begin their drive from the 26 now. The defense comes out in the nickel. First down and 10. Here's the handoff, and they'll run it. And that's a gain of 10. That's second down coming up. Empty backfield look for McCown here. From the shotgun. He makes the catch. They'll mark him at the 46. The catch is made for a first down. Well, there's a lot of ways to get it done. Just remember, throw it to the open guy. You never know what's going to happen afterwards. Short pass that time turns into a long game. Good job by the wide receiver. An extra tight end on the Let's field go. for this one. Looking to go up top again on first down. And incomplete. What a hit that time. Good anticipation that time by the defender. He gets to the receiver just as the football's arriving. And he makes a beautiful hit to knock the football loose. After the incomplete pass, it brings up second down. to the ground. Third down on the way. Quarters formation here for the defense. Snap it out of the gun. Eyeing that left side. And a near pickoff that time by Elson. Defensive coordinators love this situation, don't they? Third and long, they can do just about anything that's going to work. And they stop the offense that time. Hayden will be called on now to punt the football. First down here. It's Bernard in the backfield. Gets the handle here. And Bernard is brought down. Giovanni Bernard is one of the biggest dual threats out of the backfield we have in the league now. Giovanni Bernard, what a name. It's a great name, and he's a heck of a player. Catches the football well, and that time he showed everybody he knows how to run big time in this, in this league. First down at the 34. And Barrett can't quite pick it off. And we've reached the two-minute warning. Coming up at halftime, please stay tuned for the Verizon Halftime Report, presented by EA Sports. It's Bernard in the backfield. Dalton from the shotgun. Throws the pass. Got the completion. Now they take the football onto the opponent's side of the field. When you talk about throwing the football into open space, that's almost always against zone defenses. That's what we saw that time. Good job by the quarterback throwing it in there. Nickel formation for the defense here. Now first and ten. That brings the play to an end. 
it's obvious that the game plan coming in was let's get the football in the hands of our wide receiver early and often. Dude, if it was me, I'd say get that football to him every game. That would be my priority because he's one of the best ones in the NFL. And once he catches the football, look at it. Here's the first snap after the big play. And now on first down, they'll go back to the air. Going to try and scramble now. Incomplete. Second down here. Empty backfield look for Dalton here. From the gun. Has his target. He's tackled right at the 24. Well, the defense is going to make you throw it short, then throw it short, take advantage of it, and that completion gives you a good situation now on third down. Greens lined up in the slot. Third down and four. Keeps it here. Looking across the middle. Still on his feet. Jay Green is tackled down. The Bengals are looking good so far, Phil, and a lot of that has to do with the passing game. Dalton's had a very solid opening half. He sure has, and if people are getting open down the field, Jim, and he's right on target, he's feeling he is absolutely in the groove. First and goal. He'll throw it over the middle. Six in the books. Well, it's first to go. I think a lot of defense is a thinking run here. And so the offense, they call a nice play. Very deceptive. They throw the football and they get the easy touchdown pass. The Bengals for the point after. Oh, he actually misses the point after. Well, you don't see it too often, do you? You see these missed extra points, and the first thing you think of is you look up, you do the score, and you go, how is this going to come back and bite them? Because a lot of times it does. It changes strategy as this game goes along. And he's tackled right at about the 28-yard line. So that's going to do it for the first half. Bengals are up here in this one. This is the Verizon Halftime Report. I'm Larry Ridley. Let's get ready now to take a look back at the first half. The Bengals are up right now and are looking to keep up the pressure moving forward. The Buccaneers won't panic either. They know they just need to take it one play at a time. All right, here we go. Let's take a look at some of the highlights from the first half. Bengals line up at the 13. Bernard's going to stay up the middle, and he'll end up sprinting into the end zone as they put the first points on the board. Bengals line up at the 31. Green's found on the quick pass, and 30 yards later, he's going in for the score. That puts them on top by 14. No return. The ball's coming out to the 20. The Buccaneers offense now coming out. Mike Glennon takes a look down from under center. Second half gets rolling now as he takes the snap. Martin takes the hit and is brought down. That leads us to second down. Offense lines up here. He'll take the snap from the gun. Has Jackson. Jackson's tackled down at the 29. The Buccaneers, a lot of people like to throw screens and run draws. No, they look deep down the field. It's not there. They throw it short. They pick up some good yards. Now they can do what they want on third, run, or pass. Toss play here to Martin. 
And he's taken down, but not until he picks up the first. The Buccaneers are great at managing a football game. They know the situation here. It's a short yardage situation, so don't try to do anything fancy. Just run it up in there with power and get the first down. New set of downs now after picking up the first on the ground. Back to the ground. Martin takes the hit and is brought down. Power running. A lot of teams in this league don't even do it anymore. This team, they can power it up in there and pick up those tough yards. Second and four following the run. For this play, they'll go with two tight ends. Lyons is marked. And Myers is taken down at the 49. The quarterbacks and receivers in this NFL now are so good, it's so easy for them to throw and catch and just keep picking up those first downs. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. Jackson's a receiver in the slot. Now slashing to the right side looking for room. Now they take the football onto the opponent's side of the field. Always good to have these types of runs. Yeah, it's not a first down, but it sends a message. It shows everybody that you can run it when you want to. And also, it opens up so many other things for your offense. Second down and three, following that nice run. Defense with plenty of bodies in the box here on this play. Finds Evans. Muscles through the defender. Evans brought down at the 21. The margin of error against man-to-man -man defense is much smaller for a quarterback than it would be against zone defenses. That time the quarterback right on target. Good throw. First down here after the completion. Let's see what they do on first down following that huge play. They tackle him for a loss. Good job by the defense. They stopped the offense that time on first down. Now the defense is in a good situation. Second down coming up. Nickel formation here for the defense. Martin's called on once again. And he's tackled some three yards away from a first down. Anytime your team is down, you're inside the other team's red zone, you look for one of your star players, your quarterback, wide receiver, or running back. They need to make a big play here. This is third down. Defense filling up the box here with a 4-6 formation. He's headed right. Touchdown, Tampa Bay Bucks. Touchdown, Buccaneers. That's a nice touchdown there. And you're chipping away at that lead. Try to get into the minds of the opponent. Will they get tight? Do you hear the word choke? Yeah, I think they could be choking over there on the other side. Look out. The Buccaneers line up now for the point after. He made it. The Bengals will be back to return the kick. Still have a sizable lead here in this one. Scores 20 to 7. The Bengals are ready to return the kick. Gets out past the 30 and brought down at the 35. It's 
first down as they head to the line. It's Bernard in the backfield. Dropping back three. Incomplete, looking underneath that time. Green's been a busy receiver today as he's flown through this secondary on his way to a big game, Phil. He has everything you want in a wide receiver. First off, he's fast, he's able to make sharp cuts, and he has a good pair of hands. That's going to lead to a lot of catches and a lot of yards. Second down now. On this passing down, the defense comes out in the nickel. Dalton delivers it to Bernard. Good job that time by the quarterback. Throw the short pass, even though it doesn't result in a first down. Now on third and short, all of your passes are in play instead of just the third long where you only have like three or four plays you can go to. Third down after the completion. Dalton will take it from the gun. Throws to the right. Got the completion. And he's going to be tackled, and that's going to bring us to fourth down. Good job by the defense. Staying in the right spots. They give up the short pass. They make the tackle. And now we have fourth down coming up. will bring the ball out to the 20. First down coming up. The offense lines up here. Martin's taking the handoff. Outside to the left. And that's a gain of maybe five. That was a power running play that time by the offense. It picked up some good yards. Nothing like it. Show the defense you're willing to get in there and slug it out and get some tough running yards. And it's now second down and five after running it on first down. Wide receivers stacked up on this play. From the gun. They're going to get him here for a sack. There's nothing worse to a quarterback than having an offensive lineman getting driven back in his way. That time, the right side of the line collapses, and it leads to a sack of the QB. It's third and 17 here after the sack. One quarter to go, and you're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Can they overcome the sack? Third down on the way. And Evans is lined up now as a slot receiver. He'll take the snap, the first here in the fourth quarter. And he's intercepted. Touchdown, Cincinnati Bengals. defense is not afraid to take chances and this defense will get after it. that time they get the interception and return it all the way for a touchdown driving extra point is good the Buccaneers will now be in an even deeper hole here as they get ready to return the kick scores 27 to 7 And the kicker's ready to go. And now Page. And the tackle's made right around the 25-yard line. First down here. It's an empty backfield for Glennon this time. Takes it from the gun. Has Jackson. Ray Maluga in on that last tackle. 
when you can't hit the quarterback or put pressure on him, there's not much you're going to get done then. That time, the quarterback had time and throws it down the field for another completion. Second down coming up. Mike Glennon takes a look down from under center. Martin's going to secure the handoff. Now Luga is there to take him down. This is one good tackling defense. They stay in good position at all times, and we saw it that time, and they stopped the play for a short game. It'll be third down. He'll stand back beyond the center in the gun. Ball's incomplete. Fourth down coming up. Looks like they'll go three and out on this series. Nice job that time by the defensive player. He is all over the receiver in this man-to-man -man coverage, and there was just nowhere for the quarterback to throw the football. They load it up now, bring out the jumbo formation. The Buccaneers will take the snap from the 35. Space to work. Touchdown, Bucks. Touchdown, Buccaneers. How about the blocking up front? Let's the running back get in the secondary, and he is so quick and elusive, he avoids the tackles and takes it all the way for the touchdown. The Bengals' returners are back deep. They still have that big lead. Scores 27 to 14. And a touchback. Offense lines up here. Gets it out for the completion and a gain of four. I think the best thing to say about that play, it's just a, it gained a few yards, so that's what you do. All plays don't score. Sometimes you just want to pick up a couple yards. It's Bernard in the backfield. Second down and six. And he takes off. Brought to the ground. Well, the one thing we know about the NFL, when you have the football in your hands, they are going to attack it. You've got to know that as a ball carrier, protect it a lot better. Split backfield here. Out of the shotgun formation. Looking to the right side and throwing. A takeaway. Shrugs off the first hit. Good job that time by the defense. Not being fooled. Being in position. When you're in position, you have a chance to make the play. That time they did. They got the interception. Takes in the slot. First and ten. A.J. Green with an amazing catch. The catches have come in bunches for this wide receiver, Phil. Good job by this wide out today. He is finding a way to catch the football, but let's also give credit to line for pass protection and the coaching staff. They have done a tremendous job of coming up with different plays to find different ways for him to catch the football. And that's a big-time tackle that keeps them three yards short of the first down marker. David's so strong, he can do everything on the field. He can rush the passer, beat up tackles, tight ends. How about defending this outside run that time? Stuffs it for no gain. Offense lines up here. Third and four. They'll run it here. This offense can't be stopped on third down no matter the distance. Good job by the offensive line there on third and short. Even though the defense knew it was probably going to be a run, still able to get in there and barely get that first down. They better hurry to get the snap. It's a two tight end formation. And he's tackled. He'll be a yard short of the first. And now they'll try over again on second down. Andy Dalton will be under center. 
They want to keep feeding him the football. And he's tackled down after picking up the first. Anytime you picked up a couple of first downs, here's what happens. The defense starts to doubt what they're doing, but maybe more importantly, it gets those big boys over there tired. Trying to beat the play clock. Back to the ground. And game maybe four. When you're an offensive lineman and you can line up and just run the football straight ahead and pick up those kind of yards, you are going to get into the head of the defense. You're basically saying, we're tougher than you are. We're just going to come right at you. Two minutes to go in the second half. It's now second down. There's a lot of extra weight out there for this jumbo set. He's going to get another carry. Burners there to take it down. Timeouts called. We're going to step aside and be back in just a moment. Now looking at third down. Andy Dalton will be under center. Back to him. Taking it off the middle. He's tackled beyond the markers. It's a first down. Defense now signaling for a timeout. First down here after the run. Offense lines up here. Once again, a running play. And they advance the ball onto the other side of the field. And the defense will use one of its timeouts right here. Second down and two to go after the running play. Marching down the field and taking their time. Takes it from the eye. Tackles made and the first down is picked up. This is turning into quite a drive, Phil. Uh, nice job, Jim, by the offensive coordinator. Just mixing the plays up and keeping the defense off balance. Play after play after play here on this drive. First and ten. Staying with the running game on first down. Nice run that time. When you run the football like this, over a period of time, it's going to wear that defense out. There's no doubt about it. Nice job by the offensive line. Mounting a serious drive. Takes the knee. Third down here. Offense trying to pick up the first. One more snap and we can call it a day. Bill, before we go, how about a little chat about how much this win means? Well, you know, Jim, let's look at it this way. It was just a nice win. It, it keeps your confidence up and it just gives you a little energy to, uh, to go out next week and try to accomplish it again. truly was. For Phil Sims, Danielle Bellini, and Larry Ridley, Jim Nance saying so long for now, and we leave you with the GMC Never Say Never moment of the game.